What a great day today. <clears throat> okay, September 12, or September 13, and I am here talking about how I got a bunch of stuff from my grandparents' house, helped my mom get a coffee table over to their house that she wants, and um, I'm talking about this uh, package that came uh, in 2015, January, when I drove across the country. I uh, when I was coming back, my my vibe, my Pontiac vibe broke down, and it's been in Montana for like a couple of years now. And this guy offered to buy it, so I sold it to him for just three hundred dollars. Made me sad. Uh, his name was Vince. That was the name of the the vibe. Vince the vibe. He was such a great vibe. Six speed manual. Drove him all the way across the country. Uh, he had snow tires on him, so it was just such a fun drive in the in the winter. But it, that's a whole other story. And that little journal right there, that's the recaps from uh, August 2014. And it went all the way up until like December, January. And there's a whole other story behind that too that I can't even get into right now. Chairs, dressers, furniture. <laughs> I've got to after 10 o'clock uh, at night... I just had a burrito, so I've got jalapenos in my stomach, and there's kind of, you know, churgling and gurgling. And uh, I just got to get back and unload this stuff. So uh, then I'm going to do my recap, I guess. Just gassed up the first work vehicle of the day for Taurus. I already did some last night, so I don't have to do as many this morning. But uh, cleaned out some trash in here. It's just like a Seriously, it's like a little silver dumpster on wheels. Um, but it's not as sunny out today, <clears throat> so I guess pitching the sunglass thing isn't the best thing. But but either way, today I'm actually going to be riding with uh, my manager Cameron, who's also a friend, um, and we he's a he's got a good business mind as well and. He actually has his own business uh, work, working online. Um, what, what he does is he uh, helps businesses promote their business. Uh, so Facebook, Facebook boosting, things of that nature. And um, not, not to get all egocentric and selfish and all ambitious, me, me, me. How do I use me? How do I use my ego? My ego, uh, I guess... There's, there is a false self. I, I want I want to just totally use and abuse the false self in a way that I guess gets <clears throat> revenue, money to, to do work for him. Who is him? Him is he, right? He's the son of man. And I guess I gotta get over this timid me. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm disorganized. <laughs> okay. I just, yeah. That, that to a degree is a false self. I, but I don't like to exhibit him, you know? But like, so that's where I'm at today. And I got to go back and get the next car and gas that one up. So here we go. I went out with Cameron today. Uh, that's Cameron actually signing up the first lead for today. And then this is just a weird little sign basically offering a reward for anyone that can be caught on the property and taken in. It's kind of a buzzkill. Starter's not working. But what can you expect when you come to Colon, Michigan? Colon, Michigan, that's where we're at right now. Capital city of the world, or apparently. That's that's what Colon, Michigan's all about. It's a quaint little place. Uh, not too much work today because the car's not working, so. Friendly Jim, who was on his way to Curly's Bar, gave us a jump, and I have to correct myself about capital city of the world. It's the capital magic city of the world. It's kind of sad. I'm moving the last of my grandparents' stuff here. They're in a... What we're taking, this is going to you to you. They're in an independent senior... Or independent... What is, what's the place called? Independent... Samaritus Independent Living. Samaritus Independent Living Senior Care. And we're going to get a freezer here. What else do we need to get? This coffee table. Coffee table and freezer. All right. Here we go. 
it was cool. I was able to get everything in my van pretty easily. Then uh, my mom actually filled my car up with gas, which was awesome. Then we went to Beltline Bar and had a good old time. This is a nice little spread. Then my Uncle Bob from Florida gave uh, me a call uh, just to check up on some things with my grandpa and uh, also kind of give an update on where, where they were at with the big old hurricane that went through. But apparently, uh, if you watch the news, it didn't really get hit that bad. So I just decided I'm not going to pay too close attention to the news. 